Hi, my name is Alan Tsao and I help students master AP Physics 1. Today I want to talk to you about what to do when AP Physics 1 feels too stressful for you. Now, I actually get this a lot with a lot of students of mine, that they feel like it's like a little bit overwhelming. One of the things I actually want to share with you guys is about the importance of balancing course load and stress and managing expectations with your courses. There's a lot I can get into to unpack this, but here's the, the key thing is you have to think about why it is you're entering AP Physics 1. A lot of you come in, you want to get good grades, you're used to getting good grades, and you're used to doing very well in classes. But AP Physics 1, for a lot of students I've run into, is the first class that's really, really challenging. It's really difficult, and it's really difficult to get out of that mindset and be very defeatist, like, oh man, I'm bad at physics, I'm terrible at physics. Okay, it's hard, it's challenging. There's a lot of reasons why it is challenging, but you have to understand that it's pretty normal for it to be challenging. I actually wanna tell you about one of my physics classes in college. Uh, it was this honors physics class I took at Berkeley, and it was a very, very small number of students in class. It's like a normal high school classroom, so I only have 20 or 30 students, and at Berkeley for physics, that's a tiny number of students in a class. So anyway, one of my classmates, you know, she's in there and she's going to office hours and it's tough. Like we're, we're, we're struggling with some of the problems. Well, fast forward 15 years, she's an assistant professor at MIT. I think now she's actually an associate professor at Purdue as a physics professor. Okay, she found physics difficult. Now we were taking a pretty hard physics class. Okay, so um, pretty advanced, pretty difficult. But the point is, is it's going to be hard. It's, it's pretty normal for it to be really difficult. And if you're going through it and you're feeling stressed out, I want you to understand that this is a very normal response. So ultimately, part of your stress is you have these high expectations of how quickly you're supposed to be like, well, I should just get it. I get, I got other students there, they're getting A's, they're having no problems. Surely I should be able to do that. And if I don't, then that indicates I'm some kind of failure, which is just not true. There's plenty of times you're gonna take a, hard, a class in life that's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult. And if my classmate, who now an associate professor uh, teaching physics, gave up or was stressed out by the fact that it was so difficult when she was taking a very difficult physics class, then she wouldn't be where she is today. One thing you want to do to help manage the stress is to take a different mindset, take a different approach. And that's what some of my videos in the series has been about. It's been about having the right attitude when you're approaching AP Physics or any difficult class. Don't focus on the fact that you don't have an A, okay? It would be nice if everything you learned in life was easy and you just got A's, you just worked hard and you get A's, but there are gonna be things in life that are very difficult to understand and AP Physics can be one of those. It may be the first time that it's something that's been challenging for you. Maybe it's not the first time, maybe it's the 10th time. But the point is, is to reduce the stress, you really wanna think about what it is that you are trying to get out of the class. And if you're trying to get out of the class an A, a five on the AP exam, those are great goals. But if all of your identity is around scoring a five, getting an A in the class, and if you're not able to get it, then you're going to be more stressed out about it and you're gonna focus a lot on the wrong things. So the first thing you wanna do is take a step back. Think about what it is you're not understanding in the class. Don't think about like, if I don't get an A, if I don't get a five, then this will happen, then this will happen, then this will happen. That road leads to madness, okay? You wanna take a step back and evaluate, what is it that you don't understand? What is it that you need help mastering? Because ultimately, it's actually a very simple problem and you just have to be objective about the problem that's in front of you. Like, this problem, I don't understand that free body diagram. How do you know that's the free body diagram? I need someone to help me explain, or I need to practice drawing free body diagrams better. Or this torque and rotation problem. I do not understand torque and rotation. I better go learn what is torque, how do we calculate torque, and what is the meaning behind torque? When your identity is tied up into how well you're doing in the class, 
then every step of failure, every mistake turns into like, I'm a terrible student. I'm doing horrible. I should never have taken this class. I will never get into the college I want to go to. I try to be a little bit more objective. And that's very difficult, I know, for a lot of you to be really objective about what it is that you're struggling with. But try to be honest and be objective and attack it as though you're just trying to solve that particular problem and not the problem of, I'm too dumb. I don't get this. Why don't I get this? Why do I have to spend up all night studying and I don't understand this? Let me know in the comments below. What are you stressed about when it comes to AP Physics 1? What is it that you tell yourself when you're not doing well in AP Physics?